So uh, I, I want to know from where you are talking. I mean, from which city? Can you just tell me the name of the city or place right now you are living? Just the name of the city. Or you can type it in the chat box. Because we are still waiting for other students to, to join us. Once we get all the students, then inshallah we start, okay? So I want to know from which city uh, have you joined this workshop? You can type it or you can say it. Okay, I got a message from Abrar. Okay, I know Aman. Okay, Maryam and uh, Sharpi from Muscat. Okay, we got student from Muscat. Sohar. Okay, great. Where else? As well. Okay. Sondus, Muscat. Bidbid, oh, Bidbid. You know, when I came to Oman, the first place I visited was Bidbid because my friend, his name is uh, Yusuf. Uh, he lives there. Barka, Iski, mashallah, so we got many students from different parts of Oman. That is great. Okay, great, great. So we're still waiting. Swear, okay, I swear. You know, uh, when when uh, the flood and all those things happened in Al Swear, uh, I I seriously wanted to join and uh, help everyone over there. I really wished. And we have Rostam. Abrar, uh, um, 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 how about the weather in Rostam? Is it still rainy? How is the weather in Rostov right now? Those who live. Oh, really? MashaAllah. You guys are very lucky, you know? You guys are very lucky. That's great. So we got 46 students. Shabab, uh, meanwhile, the students are coming. I want to ask you a question. Do you want to see the teacher's face while he or she teaching or no? You don't need to see your teacher. What do you think? Which, which way, way means tariqa, which way is better? Should I, should I on the camera like this? Should I on the camera so that you can see me or we don't, you don't need? Okay, all right, okay. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I believe, I believe the camera should be open in online classes. Yeah, yeah, because you, I want you to, to look at me and I want you to focus a lot when I am talking to you, okay? Okay, all right, don't worry. I, I'm going to keep it open. Sure, inshallah. So Sama, Sama is uh, our coordinator. Mudir, you can say that, uh, Sama al uh, She is helping me to do this workshop. So whenever we get all the students, inshallah, then we start our session. What does session mean? Anybody can type it for me, session. Do you know the spelling of session? session anybody can type the word of session and tell me the meaning of session okay let me type it for you then don't feel shy here see i wrote it this is the first session of our workshop this is the first session 
I give you such an easy, you know, examples that you can easily guess the meaning. So don't worry about it. Okay. 49 students join. I think 10 more are left. Hopefully we get them soon because we need to start. Sir, I think you can start. Okay. I think those who come late, they can watch the video later on. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, Jamian. Again, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Mohsen uh, Amiri uh, from Iran. Um, uh, well, uh, I've been working here in Oman for eight years. I'm teaching in the university. Actually, today, someone else is supposed to, you know, teach, but that person, unfortunately, could not, uh, you know, get the chance to teach you. So uh, they requested me to teach. So today I am uh, teaching the first session and inshallah for the upcoming session. So in this uh, course, we are going to learn so many nice, useful, Mufid, useful things. And we learn how to be a better speaker. Okay. So uh, uh, before everything, before we start our you know, workshop, let me uh, share the screen and uh, I, I want to show you some points, Nukat, some points that you should keep it in your mind because those points are very, very important uh, for my workshop. If you want to learn nicely, you need to follow whatever your teacher tells you. Okay, so let me just um, uh, show the screen and uh, I hope that everyone uh, follows uh, the instructions. <clears throat> so, as in, uh, can you see the screen, Shabab? Yes. Okay, cool, thanks. So I wrote this, I asked, the, I wanna ask you a question, why are you here? So maybe most of you want to say that I am here because I have goals, I am here because I am responsible. You know that goals means aims, ahdaf, and responsible means mas'ul, you know, somebody who is responsible. So you are here because you want to, you know, improve, improve your speaking, and you want to be a good speaker uh, in the college or university, or maybe uh, you know, uh, in your uh, workplace, okay? So all of you are here because you have a goal. So what you need to do, I want you to do these things in my workshop. So what are those things? These are the important things that I want you to do it. So the first thing that you need to do, uh, what is it? First, I want to tell you what we are going to learn about, uh, uh, learn in this workshop. As you can see in this workshop, Shabab, we will learn the most common and important vocabularies. You should have a notebook, by the way, all of you, everyone. You should have a nice notebook and take notes and you should be fast. Okay. Try to be fast while you're taking notes. So taking notes is the first thing that you need to learn, not only here, but also in your classrooms. Okay. In your college or schools, wherever you are. So, uh, in this course, in this workshop that we are going to uh, attend, what we are going to learn? Uh, what we are going to learn? So we are going to learn the most common shaya, you know, the most common and important vocabularies, useful phrases, minjumala, okay, phrases, grammar structures, not very complicated, difficult ones. Something you know that uh, you know that can help you to speak English, you know, fluently. So this, you know, fluently. I don't want to teach you very difficult and hard, you know, uh, grammatical, uh, you know, structures. I mean, grammar structures. I will teach you easy ones. Okay, from scratch. Anybody knows the meaning of from scratch? 
don't cheat, huh? Don't cheat. Don't use your Google Translator, your, uh, what is it, uh, uh, dictionary. If you don't know, it's okay. All right, no problem. I think nobody knows. So let, let me tell you an example, then you will understand it just like this. I want to learn, this is the example, you, you make a guess, okay? Make a guess. I want to learn English from scratch. From scratch, I want to learn English. So any guesses? That means from, from the very, very beginning, from the very, very start. So in, in, in a simple language, we say that I want to learn English from zero. Hello, Shabab? From scratch means from zero. Yalla, write it down. So this is, for example, you know, the, I think this is the fourth point. I told you many things. I told you the meaning of responsible, means Basul. I told you the meaning of goals. Maybe some of you didn't know. And I told you the meaning of common, means Shaya, the most common, common uh, words. See, four. Now I told you also the meaning of from scratch. Five. See, five points in three minutes, maybe you learned. But how are you going to learn it if you take notes? If you don't take notes, you're not going to learn. So learning English is all about this, Shabab. You need, you need to take notes. You need to write those nukat points that your teacher, or even if you're watching a YouTube or Instagram, wherever you are, just write those uh, you know, uh, interesting and useful, useful Mufid that I told you, useful vocabularies. Okay, so from scratch means from zero. I want to learn English from scratch. Okay, and also I'm going to teach you the common mistakes that most of you do in your speaking and also in your writing. Okay, so you will learn so many things. Trust me. I try to make this course super easy. And uh, if you be a serious, Jad, serious student, you can, you know, uh, learn, uh, you know, uh, many points that you can use it in your speaking and writing. So, uh, what is your role? You need to have a notebook. I try to make it fast. You need to take notes. Okay. Do not take screenshots and all these things right now. Don't be a lazy student. Try to take notes. Don't take a screenshot, you know, because lazy students do that. Uh, and remember that there is no results if you do not review, Shabab. If I teach you all the time, every day, and if you do not review, Muror, if you do not review the notes constantly, means all the time, constantly means all the time, continuously, means continuously, then Mashivaida, there is no use. So you need to keep reviewing your notes whenever I teach you. And of course, you need to repeat, keep repeating and reading the sentences and conversation loud out. Shabab, this is very important. You know, one of the... Uh, big problem that uh, our students have is when they want to learn new vocabularies, new sentences, if they want to improve their speaking, they just read it with, the, with, with their eyes only. They don't, they don't read them loud out. And this is a mistake. You know why? Because, because your brain, your mukh, your brain wants to hear something. Because uh, most of us learn the language by listening, by listening. So if you, if you read the sentences that I tell you whenever you want to practice, when you read them, for example, uh, the word of, um, uh, from scratch, I want to learn English from scratch. I want to learn English from scratch. So you should, should see, you should hear your voice. Then it will go here. It will go inside your brain. And mine. So this is a technique, Shabab. This is a mistake that you really read. This is this is not gonna work. 
it would be so late you it, you know it, it 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 takes so much time to learn it then so you need to repeat them loudly okay okay so uh these are the lookout the points lookout means point let me write it here you need to uh uh you, you need to keep it in your mind and uh, inshallah after finishing this course you will learn so many points and i know that there are many levels from level one level two level three or level four maybe or maybe higher than this but just because the you know we are going to um, you know start this course from scratch so i need i need to explain as if you are level one so I don't want to speak very fast and I don't want to use difficult vocabularies because I want all of you to understand me, okay? So maybe for some students who are advanced, this session will be boring because I'm going to start from very, very, uh, you know, beginning, from very, uh, uh, you know, uh, from, from zero, you can say that. So uh, are you ready? Are you ready, Shabab? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, my explanation is, is clear. Do you like it? Yes. yes. My English is clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so let's start from the very beginning. Uh, some parts which are very easy, I will exp explain it faster. And some parts which are tray a little bit difficult, I explain more, okay? So let's, let's start from the very beginning with greetings. Greeting me, salam alaikum, uh, hello, how are you, and such kind of things. Greetings. So as an English speaker, you should know how to greet, means how to say hello and how are you and all these things to another person. Do you know that many students, even who are in level four or more than, or higher, they still have problems in this part? I swear. And this is really, really embarrassing. This is really bad when you see someone who does not know the basic things of greetings. So that's why I started from here. So, Shabab, about the greetings. The first point that I want to teach you is the word of nice to meet you and it's nice to meet you or pleasure to meet you. Okay, uh, many times I ask my students, Shabab, okay, if somebody, if you meet someone, if you meet someone for the first time, for the first time, okay? If you meet someone for the first time, not the second time, you need to use this one. This is, we use it when we meet someone for the first time, instead of saying, hello, how are you? We use hello, how are you? If we know that person. But if you want to be formal, formal means Rasmi, you need to use nice to meet you. So, Shabab, for example, I meet uh, a new uh, person now. Then I will say that, uh, hello, my name is Mohsen, uh, and uh, I'm from uh, Iran. Uh, then he will say that, yes, hello, hi, how are you? Uh, hi, my name is, I don't know, uh, Ali, and I'm from Oman. Then I will shake hands and say, nice to meet you. So when somebody say nice to meet you, the answer, what is the answer of nice to meet you? How, how should we reply nice to meet you, nice Shabab? Nice to meet you, too. Very good. So many students do not know this important, you know, uh, what is it, uh, point. So when somebody say nice to meet you, you should say nice to meet you, too. Or you can say that you, too, if you want to be like Americans. They say, Khali, you, too. Nice to meet you, you, too. Or nice to meet you, too. So Shabab. If somebody asks you, if somebody tells you, nice to meet you, do not say that I'm fine, thank you, or uh, uh, something else, or me too. Don't say me too. Many students say that, me too. It's wrong. So you should say that, nice to meet you too. This is the answer. So when we use it for the first time, when you meet someone, nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Okay? So this is uh, about nice to meet you, that you need to be very careful. Or sometimes we say the same thing, Shabab. This is also similar meaning. Maybe that person will say, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Or sometimes maybe they say that pleasure to meet you. So these are, all of them are similar. Same, okay? Just for that pleasure to meet you, it's nice to meet you is a little bit more advanced, more formal. 
So Shabab, uh, uh, be careful about this. When somebody say nice to meet you, it's nice to meet you. You should say it. Uh, you too. You too. Or you should say that. Nice to meet you too. You too. So this, this is point number one that you have to keep it in your mind. Okay. See, I wrote it here. How to reply. You should reply. Nice to meet you too. Or you too. All right. Now forget about this. Now let's talk about other uh, types of greetings. Of course, you know all these things, but some of you may don't know. Some of you Khali, say that, hello, how are you, mister? Maybe you only know this, but this is very basic, Shabab, and you need to know different types, types mean no, different types of, uh, you know, greetings. It is very important. If you want to be a good speaker, you should know different, you know, Tariqa, ways of uh, greetings. So one of them is when you meet someone, uh, I know that, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You know all these things. Uh, but now I'm going to tell you more things when you meet someone. For example, one of them is, how is it going? This one is very common. So what does it mean, Shabbat? Common? It is very common. What does it mean? Common? It is very common. Popular. Yeah, popular, yeah, something that, you know, uh, most of people use it. In Arabic, you say shaya, I guess, I don't know. So, how's it going? How's it going is, again, is, is one, of, uh, one phrase that, you know, we use it a lot. For example, tomorrow when you go to your class, you can say, hello, teacher, how's it going? Or if you meet him or her, because how's it going? How's it going? Means, uh, uh, same like what's up, you know, something like that. How's it going? It means how are you or what's up. All these meanings are involved in this sentence. You can say that how's it going or how are things. And how to answer it? We said it's going great, it's going well. Also, we can use this one. It is very, very common. Kif umorkum, you know? In Arabic, you say kif umorkum. My Arabic, anyway, this is very bad. So do not laugh if I speak broken Arabic. So, uh, how are things? This is also is very, very common, Shabab. When you meet someone, uh, you say, hello, uh, how's it going? How are things? How's it going? How are things? Shuf, Shabab? The pronunciation, talafuz, the pronunciation is very important. Some of you do not care about the pronunciation, and this is really bad. You know, one technique that you can speak like an American or like a native speaker is that imitation means to copying, you know, means uh, repeating the similar way that someone, uh, you know, pronounce uh, the sentence or say something. For example, when, when we hear from Americans, they say that, hey, how you doing? Oh, how you doing? You will, you will think, what, what does he say? Are you doing? How are you doing? What does it mean? So see, uh, you need to find it out. What, what does he say? Because they speak fast. They connect all sentences together. So that's why it will be difficult to understand what he is saying, just because they connect everything together, you know? So uh, one, of, one uh, I will tell you uh, about how are how, how you doing and all this and don't worry. Now we are talking about how are things. How are things means careful more con and how to say it, how to answer it. We say, things are fine. How are things? Things are fine. Or you can say that, so far, so good. How are things? Things are fine. So far, so good. So far, so good is, again, uh, is an expression that is very beautiful and nice if you learn it as an English learner. So uh, your, your answers always should not be the same, Shabab. Always try to have different ways, Tariqa, of saying, hello, how are you? See, these are the different ways, and it, 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 it will make your, your, your English much better if you know the different ways. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. So maybe you will ask, what does it mean, so far, so good? Mean, means so far, means until now, till this moment, alhamdulillah, everything, kul shay is fine. Everything is good. So far, means until now, until this moment, everything is fine. So far means until now, until this point that I'm talking to you, everything is fine. So far, so good. How are things? Nothing much. Nothing much. 
things are fine. So far, so good. So far, so good. Or things are fine. Or nothing much. Even you can say nothing much. This one, write it down. Nothing much. Nothing special. Nothing much. Things are fine or so far, so good. Okay, here we reach to this one, which is very, very common in uh, what is that? Uh, um, I mean, it is very common among native, native speakers, Americans especially. If you watch movies, uh, you 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 hear this a lot. So, Shabab, Americans or native speakers say they 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 read or they say this phrase very fast. You know, uh, and if you want to speak like them, you need to listen it a lot. You need to repeat it a lot, a lot, and you need to you need to imitate it a lot. I told you the meaning of imitate, Shabab. What does it mean? Imitate. Imitate. What does it mean? Imitate. You need to imitate. Imitate. You need to imitate if you want to speak like them. Why oh, it's not working? Okay. Means copy. Say the same thing. They say the similar way. Means telling the same way. Imitate. Means to copy to say. For example, if 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 he says that, how you doing? So you should you should say that, how you doing? See, you you repeat like him. You're repeating like him. Means repeating the same way, the similar way. That is called imitate. So you need to, you know, uh, say it in the same way that that person say. It. So I want one student to say it. Let me see if let's give it a try as a fun. Who can say this in the same way? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? I want one student to say it. Try. I know it is way maybe difficult, but I want you to try. How you doing? How you doing? Say that again. How you doing? Oh, that's great. It, it seems that it is, you know, it is a computer. Is it a, you know, a student saying this? Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, which level are you, by the way? Are you a student? Yeah. Uh, may I know your level? Are you studying in a university, college, or, or high school? Uh. Or maybe you completed your studies, you are just, you know, a freelancer? I start uh, in college, uh, oh, uh, in university uh -huh. at uh, last year. Last year? Okay. Where are you from? I'm from uh, okay. Berka. From Berka? Yeah. Okay, great, great. So you're from, you, you, you see? You, you can imitate. Now, do you know the meaning of imitate? What does it mean? What does it mean, imitate? See, I told you here. In Arabic? Hey, well, say it in Arabic, no problem. Uh, imitate, taqlid. Yes, taqlid, very good. We also say the same thing. So see, you, 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 you imitate very nicely. I thought that maybe the computer is saying it. Maybe somebody played something on a computer, a Google translator is saying, mashallah, it's, it was very nice. So, uh, what's your name? My name is Moadda. Mo Moza. Moadda. Moadda, Mo 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 okay. So, uh, Moadda, see, when I ask you, how you doing? Or for those students who cannot say, Shabab, you can say, how are you doing? How are you doing? See, how are you doing? How are you doing? Don't say, how are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? No, Shabab, the, your, your voice should be like a question, you know? You, you, should, you should learn when you're making a question, your, 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 your voice also should, should go up, you know? Uh, we have intonation. Later on, I will tell you about intonation. Uh, so be careful when you are asking a question. So it should be like a question. But many students that are, hello, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. I'm from Oman. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are things? Things are fine. This is not cool. It's not cool. It's not good. So all of you are here to learn something new. I want you to change these two parts, okay? I want you to, 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 uh, to be um, an absolutely different person from today, you know, uh, in terms of speaking, making plans and everything. 
So how are you doing? So when we say, uh, how are you doing? Don't say that I'm fine, thank you. Okay, try not to say it in that way. When, 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 when you say, how are you doing? Or how are you doing? You better say that I'm doing well or I'm doing great. I'm doing well, I'm doing great, thanks. I'm doing well, I'm doing great. Okay, this is the way. So how are, how are you doing? Similar main, meaning of uh, how are you, Shabab. It means how are you, same. But this one is a little bit more formal and it is more common, okay? So try to use it, you know, uh, in your daily conversation. When you meet your friends, when you meet your, uh, for example, teacher tomorrow, uh, you can use a hello, uh, hello uh, teacher, uh, how you doing? Or how are you doing today? So she will say, oh my God, what the English? She's not asking me how are you? Because most of the students say, how are you, how are you? But this one is very classy. More classy, Shabab. What does it mean, classy? It is very classy. It means, you know, uh, if somebody dress very nice, a good dress, okay? We say that uh, if somebody is well-dressed, we said uh, he's very classy. Beautiful. It's something like beautiful, nice, something like modern, modern. You know? classic. Yeah, uh, it's not something which is very modern, you know? Uh, we call it classy. For example, Shabab, uh, if, if you see a coffee shop which is decorated with very nice and lovely things, and everything is like Europeans, for example, then, then you will say, oh my God, this, uh, this uh, what is it, coffee shop is so classy. That means it's very modern and hi-fi, high class. You know the meaning of high class? He's a high class person, or this place is high class, this is for rich people, you know? So classy means something, you know, uh, something that, you know, with a high class. High class means very, uh modern and uh as your friend said beautiful you know classy so so uh, you, you should speak classy you know you should speak uh like a, a native okay now if we have done with this uh, how are you doing and i'm doing great then of course we have whatsapp which is very easy but many students don't know how to answer whatsapp this is the problem that's why i wrote it here what's up so they, they, when I ask sometimes to my students, Mashallah, what's up? Well, Lala, I think they, 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 some of them, they, they, they do not know how to answer it. They said, I'm fine, thank you, you know, something like that. But this is not cool to say, I'm fine, thank you. What's up, I'm fine, thank you. So when somebody is mostly asking you, what's up in Mulukhbar, Sheikh Farik and all, this means like that. So the best answer is that you can say, nothing much, all good. Nothing much. Mashi, you know, is special. All good. Nothing much. All good. All good means everything is good. Okay. So, so when you when you uh, asking or somebody ask you uh, the same, there are many ways, Shabab, by the way, to answer this. But I'm trying to tell you the most common and easiest one. Okay. Nothing much. All good. Or everything is fine. Thank you. What about you? What's up with you? See, we say, what's up with you? Hey, what's up? What's up with you? Nothing much. Everything is cool. I'm just, you know, busy with my, you know, uh, college life. I'm just busy with my college life. See, this is the way. What's up? Nothing much. You know, these days, these days, what does it mean? These days, Shabab? These days. Or we can say nowadays. Nowadays. These days. Nowadays, I am super busy. I am super busy, Allah. I am super busy. Super busy, Shabab. Americans use this a lot. Super means very busy. You know, you always say very, very busy. Khalas, change it, Shweya. You know, little bit, you know, have changes. Nowadays means these days, these days, and nowadays, you know the meaning means these days. I'm super busy. Super, super is very. You can use it in everywhere, but this is informal. Super is informal. Rera rasmi, Shabab. It is informal. So we have formal language and we have informal language. You should, you should know where to speak formal and where to speak informal. But in speaking, it's okay. But in writing, you should not write it. Okay? Uh, so in speaking, it's absolutely fine. I'm super busy means I'm very uh, busy. Or I am super hungry. I'm super thirsty. I need water. I'm super thirsty. I'm super tired. 
you know? So, uh, and these two phrase words, these days, these are very nice. Nowadays, these days, try to write them, note down, no, 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 take notes, take notes. Nowadays, I'm super busy with my class, with my classes, with my classes. Right, what's up? Well, uh, what can I say? Uh, nowadays, or to be honest, to be honest, nowadays I am super busy. To be honest, to be honest, to be honest. This is also a very nice phrase. To be honest, Saraha, I don't know what he said. To be honest, these days I am super busy with my classes. To be honest, I am super busy with my classes. Or I am, uh, you know, um, I, I am tied up. Tied up also is a very advanced, means very busy, tied up. I'm tied up with my classes or I am absolutely tied up. Okay, forget about that. Uh, let's go to another. This one, Shabab, is not for beginners. This is for advanced students. When somebody asks you what's up, if you use this one, this is advanced. This is advanced, you know, for advanced level. But what does it mean, same old same? If somebody asks you what's up and you say that same old same, same old same, same old same old, sorry, same old same old, same old same old. Maybe nothing new. Nothing new. But when we use this same old same old, we use this when, for example, you are, you know, angry or you are bored, you are absolutely bored. Uh, and you are annoying, you know, of a situation. For example, uh, you are upset of a situation. Maybe uh, you have some problems in somewhere, or maybe, uh, you know, uh, you already have some problems, and you said, same old, same old, nothing new. Same old, same. I mean, kulloche like before, means everything is like before, nothing new. But in a negative way. We use this in, in a negative situation. Same old, same old. This is for advanced students. I just wrote it, so um, leave that. Okay, let's go to another. So, Shabab, you know what my strat? What is my strategy? My strategy is for for improving speaking. Listen carefully. The best way. Nobody first can tell you what is the best way to improve speaking or writing and all this. And nobody can tell you this is the best way, because everybody has you know, different ways of improving English or learning English. Remember that. Everybody has a different choice. Everybody has a different tariqah. Maybe somebody is uh, uh, okay to improve his or her English by watching TV or uh, movies or reading short stories or listening only, okay? Maybe somebody only by taking notes, he just want to improve. So nobody can tell you that this one is the best method, tariqah, method. Tariqa means method, okay, or way, way, W-A-Y. So nobody can tell you this. But in my opinion, in my opinion, one of the best ways to improve your English, your speaking or writing, doesn't matter, is writing down, writing down the most common sentences or phrases on uh, in your uh, what is it notebook noting down the most common you know uh, sentences you know it doesn't matter it's, it, it is about what try to you know uh, write the questions and try to uh, write the answers for example imagine that you are in coffee shop uh, what questions are happening there try to for example pick one of those questions write it down on notebook and try to answer it as well. If you don't know the answer, ask someone else or try to check from Google. So writing down the most common sentences uh, in your notebook is one of the best ways, Shabab. If you just keep writing these nukat points with example, not only vocabulary. So Shabab, do not improve your English. Do not improve your vocabularies by highly writing the vocabulary and memorizing it. Don't memorize the vocabulary alone. You need to learn the vocabulary in the sentence. Then, in the sentence, inside an example, 
You should not just, you know, uh, 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 what is it, uh, learn uh, the word of comp, this one. Abak, what does it mean? Can you pronounce this? Pronounce it. Telephone. Comfortable. Okay. Another student. Thank you. Comfortable. Very good. Another student. Comfortable. Mashallah. Mashallah. Then you will say that this workshop is khali wali. It's not a good workshop. So shabab, comfortable is wrong. I knew it. I knew it that most of you will say comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. But this is wrong. So from today, you're not going to say comfortable. It is comfortable, comfortable. Okay? It is comfortable. I'm comfortable. So, for example, you have this word and you say just comfortable, comfortable. It means uh, murtah, murtah, okay? Uh, comfortable, murtah, comfortable, murtah. And you just want to learn this word like this. This is okay, that's fine, but all I'm saying that you need to, you know, learn this word inside a sentence, with a sentence, with an example, try to learn. Then it will, your speaking will be good. Try to make a sentence. If you don't make a sentence or try to make a question, try to make a question and make a sentence. For example, for making a question, are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable on this chair? Are you comfortable in my class? Are you comfortable or no? You are stressed out. Are you comfortable? Yes, I'm comfortable. Thank you very much. I'm comfortable. Thank you. Thank you. I'm comfortable. Sure. Now with the sentence, you made a question, then uh, I'm not, I'm not feeling comfortable. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not comfortable in this place. Let me just leave. I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. Let's just leave. See, when you make sentences, when you make a question, then everything will be easier for you. So you, you need to learn this. Okay. Now I, what, uh, how I am going to uh, teach you uh, speaking. I always try to make questions and we always, with the help of each other, we try to answer the questions and we learn new vocabularies with the help of examples. That's it. And I am going to also uh, tell you those questions that you may get it in the foundation uh, speaking exam so that you will be familiar. You will know about, uh, about those topics. I will give you those topics and we will discuss, we will talk. And you will be familiar with everything, inshallah. And when it comes to a speaking test, everything will be super easy because you know vocabularies, you know how to give examples, a cliche, everything will be super easy. If you write down the sentences and practice them. So let's start with, the, with some questions that we always uh, uh, may, you know, uh, uh, have in our daily life. So again, in the greetings, we have another things. Uh, when we have not seen someone for a long time, Shabab, what do we say? Any, any idea about this? This question. When you see someone, uh, so we, we, you have not seen someone for a long time. In Arabic, you say, huh, when, when, in, I don't know, you say this thing. But in English, if you have not seen someone for a long time, Okay, we say, we use these phrases. For a long time, you haven't seen that person. And after a long time, you meet, you meet that person. You know, uh, we say, long time no see. This one is the most common one. Hey, long time no see. Long time no see. Or you can say, this is for advanced students. Where have you been hiding? Or this one. This one also is very... Uh, so I wrote AD, mean advanced. Advance, okay? Remember that, Shabab. But this one is very common, Shabab, for, for, for beginners. You know, if you haven't seen someone for a long time, we said, ah, oh, Samah, where have you been? Long time no see. Samah, long time no see. Where have you been? Where have you been? Or where have you been hiding? Or you can say, where have you been? Shabab, even you can use where have you been. So don't say that, where are you? This is the mistake. Why I wrote this? Because most of you say that, oh, um, Sama, where are you? I didn't see you for a long time. 
come on. In English, we don't say it like that. So you need to use these things. Long time, see, long time no see. Where have you been? When you can say this, uh, hiding, hiding, no need. It will be difficult for you. So you can use this one. Where have you been? Don't say, where are you? Okay, next time, don't say, where are you? Huh? Where are you? Uh, I didn't see you for long. No, don't say that. Say, where have you been? I haven't seen you for a long time, for ages. What does it mean for ages? Means for a long time. For a long time. I haven't seen you for long. Shabab, you need to use these things. Don't make mistakes. Don't say that, where are you, where are you, where are you? When you see someone after long time. So Shabab, everything is clear about this one? Long time no see? Is it clear? Yes, thank you. You yes. learned it? Okay, let's, let's practice. Sama, are you there? Are you there, Sama? Okay, she's maybe busy. Okay, let's go to another one. So we reached the personal information. Those who are foundation students, I know that you guys are familiar with all these things, but still, some of you are making, still making, you know, some mistakes. So Shabab, in this workshop, we teach you more than what you learn in, in colleges because we try to go into detail, you know? So uh, uh, those points which are easy, you don't need to take notes, but those are which are uh, difficult, you need to take notes. So about personal, and now I make it fast because these are easy. All of you should know them. So Shabab, about first name and last name, be careful. What is your first name and what is your last name? Okay? And sometimes in the exam, they will ask you, what is your full name? Shabab, don't say full name. Have a full. This is full means, sorry to say that, means idiot, means stupid. This means stupid, fool. He's a fool person. He's full. Don't say after eating, you will say, خلاص, خلاص, I'm full, I'm full. Full means ahmaq, means stupid. So see, the pronunciation is important. You should say, I'm full. Eh, oh, full, I'm full. Thank you very much, I'm stuffed, I'm full. I'm stuffed. Stuffed means خلاص, I'm stuffed. I'm full, thank you. So full name, full, full, see, full, it's not full name. Full name. They were in the exam when they ask you what's your full name, I will tell you how to say it later on. Now, Khali, we, we're telling the kalamat, the, the, the vocabularies. Also, Shabab, uh, be careful that uh, last name, you know that means family name, means your second name. Uh, we also say family name or surname. Be careful. Many students don't know this. They, sometimes they will, in the, in the papers, maybe in the forms, it is written, what is your surname? Surname. They will say, what is surname? I know first name, last name, but what is surname? Surname or family name is similar to last name. Same, same like last name. So last name, family name, and surname are same. Don't, don't be confused, okay? So be careful and check the, the, the spelling also. Be careful, okay? In the exam, as you know that, uh, they will ask you, what is your full name? Be careful about the pronunciation of full. What is a full name? My full name is, my full name is, or you can say, it is Samal Ghafri. Even you can use the word of it is. It is Samal Ghafri, or you can say, my full name is Samal Ghafri. Okay? So uh, try to give uh, full answers, complete uh, answer. About this now. I know that many of you know I'm from Oman, I'm from, I don't know, this and that. But in the exam, especially in the exam, Shabab, we teachers will give good marks to those students who give more information, who, 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 who can, uh, you know, use a different tariqa, ways. Tariqa, write it down, Shabab. Yeah, ways, tariqa. different ways of answering. Some of you only know one way, khalas, and very short. But some of you who are in this workshop, you want to learn better, right? You want to learn new things. So if you want to, uh, to impress, to impress your teacher, to impress, just, 
your, your teacher, you need to speak, you know, uh, uh, in a better way, you know. So one way of one tariqa to answer this question, for example, if you want to get a higher mark is, for example, you can say I'm from Oman. It's not enough. Don't say I'm, I'm from Oman. Halas. It's not enough. Try to say more related, more tabit answers. And I was born, Shabab, we do, don't say I am born. I was born and raised in Moscow. Shabab, this one is actually, uh, it depends that whether you are, uh, you know, from different city or not. Um, uh, see, uh, we say that I'm from Oman and I was born and raised. Me, raised means I grew up, you know. I grew up. I grew up uh, in Moscow. I was born and raised in Moscow. Now let me ask someone else. Um, uh, I want someone to tell me, uh, where are you from? Somebody answer me. Where are you from the same way that I wrote? Somebody please answer me. Where are you from? One student, I want one student to answer this question. I was born, I'm from Oman, and I was born and raised, don't say raised, I, and I raised in Muscat. Any student? I am from Oman, and I was born and raised in Berka. Berka, Berka, Ewa, Halas, Ewa. See? There is no fear, no uh, uh, fear. What does it mean, fear? Khof. No fear. Confident, mashallah. Fear. There's no fear. She said it. So this is one way. You know, there are many ways, but I try to, to give you the, 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 the easiest way. So uh, about nationality, they may ask, uh, uh, what is your nationality? I am uh, Omani. Uh, you know, I am, uh, what is it, Iranian. I am uh, Filipino, whatever. So this is all for, for you. Nationality, I wanted to teach you the word of nationality. Many of you do not know it, unfortunately. When, 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 when I say, describe someone, uh, students don't know anything. Uh, I mean, they, they don't know the meaning of nationality. They say, what, is, what does it mean? You know, nationality means jinsia, you know that. What is the nationality? I'm an Omani, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, an, I'm Omani, I'm Iranian, I'm, I don't know, Turkish or whatever. So nationality, try to learn the spelling also, nationality. See, this is American, you know, nationality, they don't say. They say national, 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 nationality. They, they pronounce T as D, Shweya, you know? Nationality. Okay? So let's, let's go faster. Uh, of course, you know, uh, these are the questions that which are very uh, common and all of you know it, how to answer it, but we are going to learn in a different way. You know, we want to get higher mark. That's why I wrote them. So where do you live? Okay. Where do you live? Many, some students make a mistake again for this question. So where do you live or where is your hometown? Oh, you can say it same. Where do you live? It's not leave, Shabab. This is not leave. What's the meaning of leave, by the way? Anybody knows? To go out. Hey, wow. means to, to go out, you know, for example, you are home. And you leave home, you leave the class, you leave the workshop. It means to exit, to go out. Hey, well, thank you very much, teacher. What's your name? Hand. Hand? Hand. Yes, my name is Hand. Okay, we have a, a colleague. Her name is Hand. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Aywa, great, great. Okay, so Shabab, the pronunciation, tomorrow you can tell your friend, sure, it is not leave. Leave, it means, you know, to, to go out, means I leave, I leave home at 7 o'clock. So, Hand, what time do you leave? What time do you leave your, 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 your place, your home in the morning? At 7 o'clock. So in the exam, do not say, I try to complete, I leave at seven o'clock, that will be better. I leave at seven o'clock, okay. And what time do you reach college? Uh, 
I reach the college at uh, eight o'clock. Very good. I reach college uh, at uh, uh, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, whatever you said. Very good. Thank you very much. So, Shabab, uh, where is your hometown or where do you live? Or same. Uh, but let's see how to say it. Sometimes you say that I live. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I live. So live. This is live. Okay, live, not leave. I live in uh, uh, Berka, I live in Muscat. Okay, but this is not enough. If you want to get higher mark, try to say Murtabit. Related. Murtabit means related. Shup, I write in this. Related information, Shwaya. You need to uh, write related. Murtabit, you know, Shwaya, information about that sentence. For example, like this. Well, I live in Ibri. Uh, Ibri or it is. It means Ibri. Ibri is a beautiful city in Oman. It is located in southeast of Oman. Okay, for example, or we can say I live in 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 Muscat. I live in Muscat. Muscat is there. How do we say? Shabab, somebody tell me who is from Muscat. Is there anyone from Muscat? It is a capital city of Oman. Bingo! Very good. Excellent. I was looking for this word, and this student who is a smart just said it. So, so say that again. Where do you live? Where do you live? Complete. I, uh, uh, yeah, I live in Muscat. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it is uh, the capital city of Oman. Very good. Excellent, Shuf. This is also a good technique when you use, uh, if you use it in, in, in IELTS in future, inshallah. You know, this is also one of the techniques that, you know, uh, uh, the, the examiners wants to uh, listen, hear more uh, when somebody asks you about this. So, uh, uh, capital, I was looking for this one, capital city. Muscat is the capital of Oman, and or is, is, is the capital of Oman. I live in Muscat, uh, and, uh, and Muscat is the capital of Oman, okay? So, easy breezy. Or, Shabab, you can say it like this. Some people, they are originally. What does it mean, originally? I am originally from Muscat. By base, this is for advanced students, Shabab. By the way, I try to make it fast. I am originally from Muscat, but based in Ibri. Based in Ibri means I living right now. Al An means based in Ibri means Al An for now. At the moment, I am in Ibri, but I am originally. Originally means your, uh, you know, your your uh, your your originally your uh, uh, your main asli your main asal. Yes, your asal. You're, you're originally from Muscat. So we said, well, uh, I'm originally from Muscat, but based in Ibri. But I live in Ibri right now. Or you can say, but I live in Ibri right now. Right now, or currently, or at the moment. Sure. Based in Ishwaya advanced, uh, but you can learn it. Uh, I am originally from Muscat, but uh, based in Ibri. Or, uh, but I live in Ibri currently at the moment, at the moment. Alan, now I am originally from Muscat, but um, uh, I live in uh, what is it, Ibri at the moment. See, or you can say, but based in Ibri, if you say based in Ibri or anything else, it will be so so good. You know, your your teacher will be amazed. Oh my god, what an English! So, even you can use these uh, fillers, you know, these one, Shabab, try to you know, try to use them in your speaking sometimes, Shabab. We 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 uh, forget how what to answer. So these are uh, something like you know fillers. You know to, to they try to give us a chance to think. So for example, well uh, actually uh, actually uh, uh, I am from you know uh, I'm from Oman, but uh, I was born in um, you know oh, I don't know some another place. Actually uh, uh, today I have two classes, uh, but um, uh, uh, my favorite class is I don't know this. Actually, uh, I am a good person, but sometimes I get angry. You know, this actually, well, you know, at the very beginning, well, uh, let me think or let me say, uh, well, uh, actually, uh, I'm not sure, uh, but I think Ibri is a very beautiful city, you know, just like that. This well and actually are so, they are very nice, you know, techniques when you use them, Shabab, in your speaking, okay? Try to actually means fil you know that actually well something like that. Okay, uh, 
<clears throat> Another point, there is a point here. Nukta. Shabab. Avoid, tajannu. Avoid means don't give short answers. Don't give short answers when somebody asks you, you know, about uh, uh, personal information. Try to make it a little bit longer. Okay? For example, about uh, where do you live? Yeah, do not just say, I, li I live in Ibri. No. You can say more of things. Later on, I will tell you what to say. So this is a, uh, what is it, point that you need to keep it in your mind. And you need to add relative information, means more uh, of information. Common mistakes. These are common mistakes, mashallah, some of st some students do, unfortunately. They say that when we ask, where do you live? I am live in Ibri. No. I am live. Lish, it is wrong. Because am is where, live also where. Two verbs we don't use. So we simply say that I live. I live in Ibri. Khalas. Tamam? So this one is wrong. We don't say I am live. So be careful. So this is one mistake that you know students do. Some some students do. And here, oh my God, this one is very common. I am from in Oman. Is it correct, by the way? Maybe it is correct. Shabab, is it correct? No, it's delete, deleted. You, you should delete this, of course. That's it. But many students they 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 think if I make this a small uh, mistake, khali, khali, it's okay. It's a small aim, no problem, but it is a big problem. It is a big problem and you should not say it. So, Shaba, be careful about it. I'm from Mama, that's it. Okay, let's talk about job now. About job, there are again some common mistakes that some students are doing when we ask about their job and asking about their family for their father or brother job. They make many mistakes. In this workshop, you will come to know. So first, we want to know how to talk about jobs. See, you know that these things, what is your job? What is his job? When we're talking about someone else, they, students make mistakes in this part. What is your brother's job? Or what is her job? So be careful. Here you make mistakes. So be careful. If it's a male, we say his. Or if it's a female, we say her. What is his job? What is her job? Or here. You, uh, many students make mistakes here. They say, what is your father's job? No, we say, what is your father's? What is your father's job? Okay? Or what is your father's name? Here, what is your father's name? Not father name. So this apostrophe is important. Shabab, don't make mistake. What is your father's name? My, then how to answer it, Shabab? Yalla. How to answer it? What is your father's name? How to answer it? In different way. I want you to, to, to tell me. Yalla. My father's name is Adam. My father's name. Sha? See? But... My father's name is uh, Salim. So, is it correct? Father's. No. Wrong. My father's. You are, see? So in the exam, you should not do this mistake, Tama. My father's name is Salim. These are important, Shaba. Maybe you think that, no, it is not important. Why? It is okay. But it is important. And again, there is another word that maybe you will see it in the form, Shaba. When you filling a form, you may see this word, occupation. Yalla, Shaba, say it. Occupation. Occupation. Very good. Thank you very much. Occupation. So what does it mean? What is your occupation? Job. Very good. So, Shabab, maybe you will not see job in the, in the forms when you're filling a forms and when you go somewhere. Maybe you will see this word because this word is formal, very uh, rasmi, formal. Okay? So you will see Career. this word. Yeah. So it is occupation means job. What is your job or what is occupation? You need to know. Occupation means job. Don't be confused. Okay? Uh, and again, we have another word. Career. Career. Sure. Career. This means also job. See? Which one is more important for you? Your career or me? For example, you will say it to your wife or husband. 
Ah, tell me, which one is more important for you? Your career means your job or me? You see that? So career, occupation, all of them means job. And you should be careful about that. Okay, now how to answer, Shabab? How to answer these questions, this type of questions? I told you, this well means, uh, wallah, you know, wallahi, you know, something like that. Well, uh, actually, this is something like in Arabic, you say, wallahi, you know, at the very beginning you start. It, this, this makes your speaking nice. Well, uh, I'm not working at the moment. We can say at the moment, I mean, al -an, at the moment. Uh, uh, I'm a student at Utah's Ibri. Shabab, by the way, you can say that Utah's Muscat, Utah's I don't know where, or uh, I'm a student at. Try to use at, okay? I'm Utah's at uh, SKU, Sultan Gawus University. I'm a student at, uh, for example, uh, uh, Muscat College, okay? So uh, be careful. I'm not working. I'm a student at Utah's Ibri. Okay, so this is, you know, because they may ask you about this. So be careful. One thing. This is, again, a very big mistake. Many students do. They say that my job is cashier. Do you know about cashier? Yes. What does it mean? Explain it in English. What is it? The person uh, who works in the shop and, you know, uh, people, uh, customers go there and uh, you pay, uh, you, you go and pay the bills and whatever, you know, you pay for the uh, things that you bought. That person who is responsible to take your money is cost cashier, okay? Uh, so we don't say that, for example, my job is cashier, my job is policeman, my job is uh, uh, accounting, my job is a businessman. We don't say it like that. So be careful, my job. Don't say my job is my job. Do not say it. Alatul directly, Alatul say, I'm a businessman, I'm a cashier. Those, those, those are students who are working actually, or maybe they are not students. We say, I'm a cashier. Uh, I work as a part-time cashier, or we can say, I'm, I work as a part-time cashier, or I'm a, a businessman, or I'm a police officer, or I am a, a, a what is it, a shopkeeper, or I am a driver, taxi driver. Don't say that my job is taxi driver. It is wrong. We don't say it like that. I'm a taxi driver. I'm a teacher. I'm a nurse. So directly, you say it like that. And if you're talking about someone else, he is a police officer. Don't say his job is police officer. No, he is a police officer. My, my father is a policeman. My mother is a, a teacher. Don't say my mother job is teacher. All right. Don't make those mistakes. My mother is a teacher and he's, and she's teaching in a, uh, primary school, sure, something like this. So be careful about these things. Now let's go to uh, another topic. So we forget, we, we, we finish with the job and all these things, and later on again, I will review it, don't worry. Now we, call, we talk about marriage and all these things. You know, these are common things that you should know, and many students don't know how to say it, unfortunately. First of all, you should know how to make a question. For example, you will see an American, a foreigner, Foreigner, Shuf. foreigner. What does it mean, foreigner? When you see, when you meet a foreigner, yalla, foreigner. What does it mean, foreigner? Say it in Arabic. It's okay. Nabi. Hmm? Yeah, you are. So when you see a foreigner, you should know at least how to ask this question. For example, or if somebody asks you. You should know how to answer it. So we, we, we started with, are you? Don't say, do you married? I don't know. Are you? Are you married? Are you married? No, I'm single. Yes, I'm married and I have two kids or I have two children. Yes, I am married and I have two children. Children or children, Shabab? We should put S, right? Or no? No, it's children. Okay. We didn't add S. We don't. We don't add. Very good. So we don't add S. We don't add S for children because children jama already. Shabab, be careful. If it is khali wahed one, so we say that I have a child and I have one kid. 
We can say, I have a kid or I have a child. Don't say, I have a children. A means wahid. I have a kid, I have a child. Be careful about that. But if it is more than one, we say children. I have two children. Come on. So be careful about that, uh, about this. And be careful about, uh, you know, this part, I am married, not marriage. Marriage is a ceremony. I want to go to Ahmed's marriage. Sir, uh, uh, marriage. Uh, marriage is very beautiful. You know, we, we, we all should get married. So be careful about this. You know, this one, I, I don't, I, I want, these sentences, maybe you need them. I want to get married. I want to get married. Sure. And I read, I don't know, Zawaj, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I want to get married. Don't say that I want marriage. No. When you want to say, uh, uh, whatever, I don't know the Arabic. Say, I want to get married. You, you, you should use the word of get. I want to get married. I don't want to get married because I don't have flus. I don't have money right now. I'm broke. I am broke. I don't want to get married now. I am broke now. I am broke. What does it mean, Shabab? I am broke. I am broke. I don't, I don't want to get married. I can't marry. Get married now. I'm broke, man. What does it mean? I don't have money. Don't? Yes, it was correct. I don't have money. Mashallah. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. What's your name? Fatima. Where Where do you live? I live in Bitbit. Bit, bit, okay. Uh, is the river, the wadis have water right now in bit, bit? Wadis, uh, do we find water in, 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 in the bit, bit uh, wadis or no? There is no water. No water. No water. Oh, oh, it's dry, right? So it's dry. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Fatima. So, so I am broke, Shabab means I don't have money at all. Means khalas, maashi, flus, at all. Means I am broke. Means maashi, flus, at all. Means when, when you don't have money, even a penny, a one uh, pesa, we say, I am broke, Habibi, I don't have money. How can I get married? I don't want to get married because I'm, I'm studying right now. I'm studying right now. I'm a student. I need to uh, find a job. I need to... Uh, you know, uh, make a business, I need to open a business, or I need to have a business. Okay, so these sentences try to, you know, always try to create, make, create sentences, not khali these things, you should always create. Shabab, by the way, I'm not asking you a question because I want to teach you more things. Otherwise, I like to speak with you guys, I need to have a practice. But just because of you, because I want to teach many, many points in one session. That's why I'm not asking you so many questions. So don't mind it. Or we can say I'm single. This is easy. I'm single. I'm single. Or we can say this one. I said it. Okay. We reach here. Siblings. Siblings. How many siblings do you have? Maybe sometimes this question you will get. And many students maybe don't know the meaning of siblings. Sibling. Sibling. So siblings means brother a brother or sister we call a brother or sister these people you know we call them siblings in english how many siblings mean kim akhoi and okhti do you have us siblings how many siblings do you have be careful here do you have you you have problem in this part shabab make i mean try to practice in this part how many cars you have most of you say that how many cars you have it is wrong how many cars do you have how many brothers do you have how many sisters do you have how many mobile phones do you have so be careful many students make mistake in this part when you when they make a, a question they make set what is it mistakes i want you not to mistakes to make mistakes Okay, so be careful. I have five siblings, three brothers and two sisters. Maybe they will ask you how many brothers and sisters do you have? 
I have uh, two brothers and uh, three sisters. Or I have a big family. Uh, I have th th three brothers and five sisters. Okay, so now we learn the meaning of a sibling and we learn how to make a question also when we asking about this question. Okay, this is about personal, uh, the most common personal questions that some of you make mistakes a lot. And I try to avoid, I try to teach you those common things that you make. Now, uh, uh, um, say, uh, uh, the, the next topic will be, you know, a uh, family. But before I go to the family, uh, let's, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, what is it? Let's again review the common mistakes that we make in our uh, basic speaking skills. Okay, again, we review them a little, little bit faster. See, uh, the first one, I am living in Ibri. No, I live in Ibri. I am studying. No, I am studying. I study at Ibri. Be careful about this. I study at. I study at. Okay. Uh, I am a student, or you can say, I am a student at Utah Ibri. See, this is also another way you can say that. Or my brother studies. Be careful about this. Uh, grammar here, Shabab. When you're talking about someone else, the fail will be changed. As you know that, it gets S. My brother studies. My brother works. S. My brother speaks two languages. So be careful about some. Of course, I'm going to teach you these things later on. But now we're talking about uh, the common conversation that uh, no, we uh, uh, have uh, as personal, you know, uh, what is that information? When we talk about weather, also, uh, many students make mistakes. Weather. How to ask about the weather, Shaba? By the way, give me, uh, make, uh, make a question and ask me about the weather of Ibri. Yalla. Make a question with weather. Yalla Shaba? Make a question with weather. Ask me. Ask me a question about the weather. Joe. Ash. Come on. How was the weather today? How was the weather today? Excellent. Or how is? If it is past, we say how was the weather. But if it's now, how is the weather? How is the weather? Uh, how is the weather of Muscat? See? Don't say how is the weather in Muscat. It is not come. How is the weather of Muscat? Uh, how is the weather of uh, what is it? Didbi? How is the weather of uh, Muscat? It is hot. It is cool. It is uh, you know uh, humid. So we can say that. So weather. Don't say that the weather in Ibri. It is hot. Be careful. The weather of. Roof jar of uh, the uh, preposition of uh, weather is off Shabab. Don't say this. This is a very common mistake. Many students make this mistake. The weather in Ibri, it is hot. No, the weather of Muscat is hot. The weather of Ibri is hot. So don't make this mistake. Okay. Uh, about the people of somewhere, if you see a foreigner, you know, uh again there is a common mistake here that i fixed it uh we're talking about people people you know sometimes they will ask questions about the people of somewhere okay first of all you need to make sure when we're talking about people okay uh we should use is or are the people of a man is or are shabab are. are excellent so be are. careful about this we always use are for people because people is plural okay uh, so you need to keep it in your mind the people of oman are uh okay how many if you want to talk about the people of oman what adjectives do you know how do you describe them shabab how many vocabularies do you know about the people? If somebody asks you about the people of Oman, how many vocabularies do you know? So we, we are going to learn some vocabularies now. Yalla. 
kind, uh, lovely. Great. Armin, okay, keep um, going. Good people. Good are good, okay. Helpful. Helpful, okay. Nice. As a very difficult vocabulary, nice. Oh my God, it's very difficult, huh? This. Nice. Okay. You know? Nice. Beautiful. Uh, all of them are so easy. I want social new. Beautiful. Okay. Halas. Yeah. Brave. Brave. Okay. Now, Shabab, today you learn some vocabularies, you know, that uh, when some a foreigner can will will love it when he or she uh, hear, he, hears it. Even your teacher will love it if you use them. Okay. The first one, the people of Oman are, uh, what is it? Uh, humble. Humble. Humble means mutawadir, you know? They are very humble. So the first word is humble. The people of Oman are, the people of Oman are humble. Okay. Generous. 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 Don't say generous, Shabab. Be careful. This G, you know, you need to practice. I know many of you say G, colleague, colleague. I, I study uh, uh, in uh, Shinas, at Shinas, colleague. It is a very bad and big, big uh, you know, mistake. You need to practice, Shabab, to, to, to say G, college, 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 generous, generous. Generous means Karim, Shabab. Generous. They are generous. They like to invite people. They like to help people a lot. They give money to them. They are very generous, humble, generous, hospitable. Hospitable. This is a very, very lovely and good, you know, vocabulary. And if you use it in the sentence in in in, in your in your in your exams or your speaking in the class, Allahi, your your teacher will like it. For example, if you say, oh, yes, I, even you can use it for yourself or for your brother or sister or father, if you want to describe them. My father is very humble, generous, hospitable. Or you can say the people of Oman are humble, generous, hospitable. So hospitable, what does it mean, hospitable? Hospitable, Shabab, means uh, those people who like to welcome the guests, you know? Who like to uh, to invite the guest? Uh, guest. What does it mean? Guest. People who come at uh, in our home. Yes, the people who come to your home as a guest, as a thief, You know, the, those people that you invite. So, so if you know those people who like those people who like to invite people in their places, they call them hospitable. They are very hospitable. Omani people are very hospitable. Be why? Because they like to invite, you know, uh, other people in their house for lunch, for dinner. Yalla, sharab, I don't know, uh, kahwa, I don't know this and that. You know, they, 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 they always, you know, ask you, offer you, offer you to come to their places. So they are hospitable. So you, you should know how to describe your people, Shaba. So they are humble, generous, hospitable. And there are many more vocabularies, but for now, I, I teach you these three things because I want you to learn. Yalla, again, uh, uh, pronounce the words, Shabab, one person, one student, pronounce it fast, these three words. Yalla, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. Please pronounce it. Humble. One student, volunteer. Humble. Ewa. Generous. Generous, very good. Uh, hospitable. 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 Ewa. And do you know the meaning of hospitable? Yeah. 
Are you a hospitable? Uh, is your father hospitable? Of sure, of course. Of course, very good. What about a generous? Is he a generous person? Is he generous? Generous means caring. Yeah. Is he generous? You know, he likes to help people. Of course, of course he is. Chawa, by the way, bakhil in Arab, in English, what do we say? For example, sometimes you want to say, uh, uh, my friend is very bakhil, I don't know, or whatever. You, you need to know. Generous is Karim. He wants to help everybody. But what about bakhil? Stingy. Mashallah, mashallah. Which level are you guys? Huh? Which level are you guys? Yala said, why are you so shy? Shabab, nobody's seeing you. This is the chance that you speak with, with, with someone else like me. When somebody asks you, dude, be, be confident. Be confident. And try to speak. When I ask a question, don't feel shy. And, you know, I'm, I'm just like a friend. I'm not a teacher here and there. I'm just trying to teach you as a friend, like a brother. So stingy, Shabab. Thank you to those who, who told me this. Stingy, Ms. Bakhil, stingy, stingy. Okay, so these are the vocabulary. Let's go back to the PBT. We don't have time. Uh, uh, okay. The so, so the people are, the people of Ibri are nice, humble, helpful. Very good, that word that your friend said. Generous and hospitable. Here, my father is a policeman. Don't say that my father's job. This is the again mistake that I say that, but this is the correct one. My father is a policeman. Or my father is a police officer. My father is a businessman. Uh, my my father is uh, is a doctor. Uh, or you can say that my father is not working. So Shabab, uh, sometimes we say that my father is not working, or we say that my father is unemployed, means jobless. Jobless means Masha Shabab. Jobless. My sister is jobless. This is a very nice uh, word, Shabab, by the way. Jobless. My sister is jobless. You know, unfortunately, many uh, uh, students, you know, who graduated are jobless, and I really feel bad. Many uh, students I know who are still jobless. Jobless, Shabab, means Masha Shabab, means unemployed. They don't have a job. They're not having a job, okay? My sister is jobless. I'm jobless. I am searching for a job. I am searching for a job. I am looking for a job. I am searching. I'm still searching for a job. I am jobless and I really don't know what to do. I need to open my own business. I need to open my own business. See, I need to open my own, own business. Shuf, this is the way that you need to make sentences, make a new words, vocabulary. I, I'm jobless and I'm still, I'm still, searching for a job and i think i should open my own business i should open my own business i should you know because the uh, the situation hala the situation is very bad the situation the situation the situation is very bad the situation hala hala the situation is very bad uh let's get back okay uh, my father uh, so un unemployed or jobless, same meaning. Or we can, yeah. Or we said that my father doesn't. Okay, about do and does. Okay, here, here, Shabab. About do and does. Again, some of you have uh, you know problems how to use do and does. My father, we say that my father don't have a job. My father don't have a car. No, we use does for he or she or it. He doesn't have a job i don't we say we don't they don't okay uh but hassan yalla hassan don't or doesn't doesn't Ewa doesn't have a car uh she doesn't speak English. We don't say she don't. So be careful about this, Shitrof, about do and does. I, I try to say it very quick because this is not a grammar class, Shabab.
So we try to learn grammar in the form of speaking, Shabab. If you make sentences, you know, uh, for example, if you know how to use do and does, like speaking, in a speaking way, your grammar also will be fine and your writing also will be fine. So, for example, you will keep it in your mind, okay, if I talk about someone else, I should not use do, don't. I should use doesn't. Hassan doesn't have a car. We don't say has, huh? be careful. Hassan doesn't have a car. Hassan doesn't speak English. He, he works in college. He likes, uh, for example, uh, cars. Okay, so these uh, nukat, later on again, I will say now, today we are trying to just uh, quickly to say the most coming, you know, uh, conversations only. So, uh, my father doesn't, my brother studies, I told you about the, the, the grammar here. My brother is 23. Uh -huh, here, here, Shabab, when you're talking about someone else, be careful. Here, many students don't, did, uh, do not use is. They say that my brother, 20 years old. Or they say that my brother, 23 year old. They don't say that years. So this is also another, uh, what is it, mistake? So be careful about that. My brother is 23 years old. I am uh, 30 years old. About the job of your mother, when we talk about a, a mother job, uh, be careful about uh, some vocabularies. When we talk about, you know, uh, when we just describing our mom, uh, uh, only I wanted to teach you what this word here, Shabab, the word homemaker, okay? Uh, I'm sure you know it, Shabab, right? Homemaker, someone who doesn't have a job and working and just, uh, you know, uh, working at home. He, she doesn't have any work outside. So, homemaker, right? Is it clear, homemaker? Write it down. Homemaker is the lady who just work at home, okay? For example, my mother is a homemaker. She doesn't work. She doesn't work outside. She doesn't have a job. She's a homemaker. So be careful. Here, about have and has. Again, we finish with do and does, how to use it in speaking. But again, many students have problem with have and has. Some of those students, of course. So, Shabab, for he and she and it, okay, we always use has. For example, Hassan has a car. Mohsen has uh, uh, a Lambo, Lamborghini, whatever. Uh, my father, because we're talking about someone else, my father has a car. See? She has a car. So be careful about have and has, but... There is a nukta here. Be careful about this. He has a car, okay? When we want to make it negative, it will be a different thing. He doesn't. How to make it negative, Shabab? He doesn't have or has? If you, you, you are using it in a positive way, has. He has a car. But if you want to make a negative, we use have after does it. Shabba, be careful. This is also a common mistake. It's on many students do. He doesn't have a car. Have. Doesn't have. Be careful. Okay? All right. Let's go. How many minutes do we have we got? I know some, for some of you, these things are easy, uh, uh, but for some students, no, because we, we have you know, different uh, levels in this uh, workshop. So I have to you know, explain every small, small detail. You know? uh, the, 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 another point is uh, possessive S. As I told you, be careful when you're talking about that, when you're talking about someone else. If you're talking about yourself, you don't need it. I live. I live in every, but if you're talking to, uh, about someone else, be careful about S. She lives, I, uh, he lives in every, or uh, my father lives, my father works, so be careful about that. My brother works for the bank, okay? So this S, possessive S, is again a nukta, a, a, a point that you need to 
be careful in your speaking and even in your writing. All right. So let's go to another one about likes and dislikes. I'm going to teach you, but just some uh, grammatical points that I'm teaching you right now, Shabab. These are just grammatical points. Later on, we go to the speaking. Okay. He likes homemade food. See, he likes. If you're talking about someone else, about someone else, he likes. He doesn't like. He doesn't like. He doesn't like snap. He doesn't like homemade. This is a nice word, Shabba. Write it down. Homemade. Homemade food. He likes homemade. He doesn't like homemade food. Okay? Or, or fast food. He doesn't like fast food. About like and dislike, how to speak about like. You know, I, again, I will explain it more in the upcoming uh, session. I like playing football because I enjoy it a lot. This is one technique. When you say that, what do you like and what do you dislike? Do not say that I like playing football and that's it, halas. You need to explain it as I told you. You need to give reason. If you want a higher mark, we want to expect, we expect more related uh, information. I like football because I enjoy it a lot. I like football, I like playing football or I like football because uh, 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 I, I, you know, because uh, it is fun, because it is fun, because it is fun, because uh, 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 I want to be healthy, because I want to be fit. I like football because I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. See, you can say I like playing football or you can say I like football. Makes no difference about it. I like to play football also is correct. Or you can say, I like playing football also is correct. Both of them. And when you don't like something, of course, we use different things. One of them is hate. I hate eating. Be careful, the ING here. Okay? I hate eating. We don't say, I hate to eating. We say, I hate eating. I hate having. Even you can say having. Having. Shabbat. Having is better even. Sure. For example, somebody asks you, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't say I'm eating my lunch. This is this is not common. It is better not to say that. I am having my lunch. Mom Shabab, do not say I'm eating my lunch. It is correct, but it is not a common English. We don't say I'm eating my lunch. All right? Say I'm having. I'm having my lunch. I'm kind of busy right now. I am kind of. Sure, this is a nice way. I am kind of busy now. Can you call me later. Would you call me later? Hey, uh, I'm kind of. Means uh, kind of. Does it mean Shabab? This is a nice word. In Arabic, what do you say? Kind of. Shabab, kind of. I'm kind of busy now. Anybody? I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Sama, are you there? See, I am kind of angry. I'm kind of busy. It means somehow, somehow I am busy. You know. Okay. Anyways, you guys should uh, search it. I want you to to search it on the, in the Qamus uh, in the with the dictionary. Uh, because this is a little bit advanced. I'm kind of busy now. Uh, would you? See? Would you? Instead of saying, can you, if you want to be more muhtaram, respect food, you can use would you. Shabab, keep it in your mind. This is a very nice set of word, uh, sorry, phrase. Would you? See? Would you is also correct, but Americans say, would you? Would you call me later? Would you open the door? Would you uh, give me your notebook? Instead of saying, can you, can you? Can you is okay, but it is not formal. It is not very polite. You know, you can use it with, you, for your, with your friends, but if you're talking to your, for example, someone like teacher or a older person, try to use with you because it shows ihtaram, uh, you know? So would you? Would you uh, uh, shut the door, please? Would you 
help me? Would you help me in my writing? Hey, would you would you help me in writing? Would you would you would you help me, please? Would you call me right now as soon as possible? Would you close the window? I'm feeling the cold. Would you uh, cl uh, would you uh, switch off the AC? Okay, so this shows so much respect about when you want to uh, request someone in a polite way. Would you? Would you? Okay. Uh, This is akrahek, I hate, I don't like, I don't like, or I hate, or I'm not into. I will uh, teach you later on about like and dislike, don't worry. The, 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 uh, the, another point that I want to teach you is there is, there are. Shabab, this there is, there are will help you in your speaking and writing a lot. It will help you a lot, wallah but many students make mistakes. They don't know how to use it, unfortunately. So write it down. There is, there are, I mean, use it. Use it, class. Okay? But how to use it, you need to learn now. Of course, many of you know. Uh, but I try to make sure that everybody knows. There are many beautiful places in my city. There are many problems in my home. There are many... Uh, difficulties um, uh, in my life. There is, there are, is for Jama. See, there are many beautiful places because we're using there are, means you did. Many beautiful places in my city, such as, you know, such as, uh, 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 such as, for example, uh, um, uh, in Muscat, what was that place? Beautiful places. Where, where, tell me some beautiful places in Moscow. I forgot it. What was it? That old, old place. Can you help me? Some beautiful place in Moscow. Shabab, are you with me? Can you name some? Okay. Yeah, uh, some some beautiful places of Moscow. Can you tell me? Almog. Almog, ayo Almog. And? Asib. Asib. And? Almobela. Mabela. Mabela is beautiful? Matrah. Matrah. Matrah is beautiful. Mabela, my relatives. My relatives are there. And uh, my relatives are living in Mabela, by the way. Kulu Belushi, you know that. Beluchistan is there are living there. So yeah, yeah, of course, my villa is beautiful, but it's so crowded. It's very zahma, very crowded. There are many beautiful places in Omar, such as, such as, such as, such as uh, uh, al Moj, this and this and this. There is, usually, this is for, for singular one, there is a small shopping mall in Ibri. There is, this is for, you know, uh, uh, singular. There is a sh uh, small shopping mall, shopping mall in Ibri. There is, there is, uh, a beautiful coffee shop in my city. There is a very beautiful coffee shop in my city. Okay. And another word is interested. Interested, Shabab. Another sentence that I want to, when you want to like something, this, this one is so nice, Shabab. This one is so nice, this, this phrase, interested. Many students do not use it. Uh, I want one student to make a question with interested. How to make a question with interested? Make a question. Do you know how to make a question? I told you, you should know how to make a question. This is very important. Are you interested in sport? Are you interested in a sport? What are you interested in your life? What are you interested in your life? Are you interested in sports? You should know. You should know how to miss, make miss, uh, what is it? Make sentences, Shabab. This is the way that you can speak. You can you can you can make, generate, create sentences. Let me check uh, some of text me. Uh, Don Daddy. Okay. What time we have to? I think after 10 minutes we'll be done. Uh, are you interested in sports? Are you interested in sports? What are you interested? So uh, we say that. 
uh, I am interested. شوف شباب means مهتم. Interested means مهتم. You should know how to use it in your sentences. Be careful. This is very very important. I am interested in learning English. شوف the the prepositions is in. Okay, حروف جار is in. Don't say interested to the sender. I'm interested in after uh, after that uh, the the fail will get ing. I'm interested in learning English. I'm interested in cooking, not cook. Sure. I'm interested in cooking. I'm interested in playing video games. I'm interested in music and sports. So I want you to write and speak these things in your speaking, Shaba. All right? Because these kalamat are very, very useful and very common in their, in English. So that's why I keep telling you, uh, you know, uh, to to learn them. Uh, by the way, uh, let's uh, stop here. Let's stop here. I know your brain is just blowing right now. Uh, although most of the information were not new so much, but for some students maybe were new. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it was clear. Uh, now let me just review Murur. Uh, you know, uh, new things that that was. Interesting for you, you know the the, the nukat. Let's let's review the nukat, the vocabularies, with the help of you. I want you to help me to review the kalamat, the you know the points. So, are you ready to help me? Yalla, now it is your turn. After this, you know, uh, 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 we will complete. Uh, I stop teaching because I think you guys are tired right now. Two hours is too much. So let's let's review the things, and I want also to have a small conversation with one of you. Are, are you are you are you with me, Shabab? Should we review them, or you will watch it uh, in the video? Is it necessary to review, Shabab, or no? So we are done. We are done with teaching. If you are Shabbat want to go, you can go. It's absolutely fine. Uh, but if you want to review, I'm available. We can have a practice also. It is absolutely okay. So let me know. If you want to murur, we have we can review it. If you think that you are tired, you can leave and we can say goodbye. What do you think, Shabbat? Yalla, tell me. Tell me, uh, do you want to continue to review or it is enough? Yalla, I think uh, you guys are tired because some students are leaving. What do you think? Anybody? Any ideas? Should we review it next session? Shabab? Anybody? Yeah, quick re review. A quick review? Should we do it? Yes. Should we do it now or uh, next yeah. session? You want to now. now? Yeah. Okay. So let's have a practice with the, that review. So uh, I want some students to keep telling me the those new things that they learned from the very beginning. Yala, let's start. Those things that you took notes. Those things that you know you liked it. Those points that you liked it. Yala, tell me one by one. We learned how uh, greeting people Ewa. by saying nice to meet you okay. and reply nice to meet you too right. or pleasure nice to uh, nice to meet you. Okay. And if tomorrow you meet your uh, your your teacher, uh, instead of saying uh, hello, how are you? How do you uh, ask about uh, how, how, what, what? Do you know any new thing? How do you ask? How are you in, in a different way? How are you doing? Very good. How are you doing? What's what up? You doing? How are you doing? And if somebody asks you, how are you doing? How do you answer? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. I'm great. Thank you. Okay. If somebody Thank asks you, you okay, uh, 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 how are things? How are things? How are things? Things are fun. 
Things are fine, very good. Yalla, okay, another another one. Those those nukat that you liked, not everything. Just tell me. Kalamat, you know, nukat, uh, whatever you like, you it was interesting for you. Fast, 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 fast. So is there anyone who can have an interview right now with me? Who is ready? I want to ask question. Is there anyone who is ready to answer my question? Because it's a speaking class. So let's, let's now talk. Is there anyone who wants to talk? Yalla. Yalla. Take me. Marwa? No, no. Ma, 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 ma. What? What is that? Mawadda. Mawadda. Okay, so difficult. Wallah. Okay, Mwadda, are you ready to answer my question? Uh, yeah, I'm okay, ready. Let's do it. Uh, please introduce yourself, Mwadda. What? Introduce yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, my name is Mwadda Salim Jadidi. I live in uh, Burka. Uh, I live in Oman. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm from Oman. I live. In I'm from Oman. Yeah. I live in Barka, yeah. and I am a student uh, for uh, no at. Uh, Very good. Well, I think sure she is thinking about those small nukat at. She's remembering that that I should not use in or whatever else at. Very good. Um, continue. At Al uh, Musana University. Oh. And uh, which level are you? Which level are you? I know the uh, Dakika. I am uh, learn in next year, not okay. this year. Ah, okay, 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 that's great. All right, L now let me ask you some questions. So, uh, uh, um, Muadda, let me check uh, first the, 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 the notes, then I will ask you. Okay. Uh, tell me about, uh, let me ask some questions that I uh, asked you. Okay. What does it mean nowadays? Nowadays? Meaning, uh, okay, make a sentence, please. What do you do nowadays? What do you do nowadays? Nowadays, I try uh, learning, uh, Anglo learn, learn English. Okay, I try learning English or I try to learn. Same, Shuf. I try to learn is correct or I try learning English also is correct. Okay, and uh, Mwadda, tell me, how many hours do you spend learning English? How many hours do you spend on uh, learning English? What meaning spend? Spend, you know, uh, I, I spend uh, one hour uh, to learn English. I spend, I spend, I spend one hour spending time. I spend one hour, I spend one hour. What about you? How many how many sa you do you spend? We I, use spend for money. We spend for time. I spend uh, five minutes at the uh, morning and uh, one hour. Yeah, one hour at night. Okay. No, not night. Uh, at uh, uh, asr. Yeah, in the Afternoon. evening. In the evening. Hey, well, in the evening. Very good. Yeah, and one hour also at night at uh, maybe eleven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, that's so it. we use in for the morning. I spend five minutes in the morning, not at, and I also, uh, you know, uh, sometimes try to use sometimes. Sometimes I uh, I spend two hours. Uh, in the evening, not at again, and uh, three hours at night. See, in, in, at. Okay? Okay. All right, great. And uh, tell me, um, uh, what is your favorite subject 
in uh, what or what was your favorite subject in high school? My favorite subject is the singing. No subject. Subject. You know, we have many subjects. Uh, math, chemistry. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Math. What is your favorite subject? Ma uh, my favorite subject is math and biology. And biology, biology. Okay. And uh, uh, let me ask uh, some points that I taught you. Uh, okay. How to pronounce this? Comfortable. Try again. Comfortable. Okay, I'll help you. This one should be silent. Silent. Now say it. Comfortable. Hey, wow. This is comfortable. Sure. Or deleted. No or. This or deleted. Comfortable. Okay. Are you comfortable in the meeting? In this workshop? Are you feeling comfortable? Or you have stress? Do you have stress? Do you know the meaning of stress? Yeah. Uh, same uh, word, sir. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you have stress now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you have a little bit of stress. That's okay, Adi. It's absolutely normal. Uh, but inshallah, you will be comfortable. Uh, let's. Uh, when we use a long time no see, Mwada, when we use it? When we, see, we use this long time no see? What? Can you explain? Uh, I don't hear you. Uh -huh. uh, again. When, in which situation? Which situation? When? When we you we, we use long time no see? What does it mean? Long time no see. Long time no see. Uh, it means uh, when I don't see uh, someone for long time. Hey, wow. excellent. Very good. So is it correct that you know I said hey long time no see? Where are you? Is it correct to say where are you? Uh, no. Oh, yes, it is not correct. Very good. So we should say. Uh, where have you been? There you are. Where have you been? Excellent. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, great. Great. Is there any other volunteer who wants to talk? Any other students wants to talk? I want to ask some questions. No, thank you. Okay, so should we, uh, what is it, uh, uh, stop it? Are you done? Uh, I, I'm available anyways. Uh, we can't be, uh, we, we got five more minutes. So uh, let me uh, ask the other question to Muadda. So five minutes, after five minutes, we are done. So uh, what is your occupation, Muadda? What does it mean, occupation? What? Uh, again? Occupation. What is occupation it? meaning uh, a job? Job, job. So be careful. Show from all that. J, you should practice it. Job. J, job. Can you say it? Job. Ah, uh, now it is correct. Job. Okay. Uh, what is your job? If somebody asks you, what is your job? How do you answer? My job. Uh, is sleeping only now? My job, my job is what? Sleep. Sleeping? Yeah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. We're proud of you. Your parents proud of you, you know? No, but you should not say that my job is sleeping. First of all, we should, we should not say my job is. So you can say that I don't have any jobs. I only eat and sleep. You can say it like that. But we don't say that my job is. Okay. Uh, that is not okay. To try to say that uh, my uh, my job is, for example, teaching or cooking. My job is this and that. Try to use it in a different way. So you don't, so you should say that I don't have any jobs. I don't have a jobs now. I am just you know uh, relaxing at home and learning English. Sir, I don't have oh, yeah. I don't have a job now. 
I'm just relaxing and uh, learning. Uh, what is your father's job? My father's job is... Oh, see, again, you said that my father's job is... No, my father's... Uh, what? My, my father... father... Hey, why, what? My father is... All of you say my father is... is. Uh -huh. My father... My father is... Don't say my father's job. My father is... Okay, yalla. Any, anything. Is. My father is... Is a businessman, wherever, or okay, is a businessman, or is a teacher, or is a uh, I don't know, whatever, doctor, engineer, or shopkeeper. Okay, so this is you need to be careful. Okay. Okay. Uh, another point that. Uh, what does it mean when we say that? How many siblings do you have? Uh, meaning uh, how uh, uh, how your brother and uh, sister you have. Very good. So tell me, how many siblings do you have? Uh, I have uh, five siblings, three sister and two brother. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. So let's tell me about these things. T describe your personality. Describe your personality. Allah. What's your shaksiya, personality? And use these sentences. This vocabulary. Two more minutes and khalas. Yalla. Um, I am it. I am I am I am it. I am humble and what? generous. Generous. And you can say kind. Kind. Okay, so how do we say it uh, when somebody say that, Yalla, describe yourself? Although I teach you these things later on, okay? Just now, I very quickly. I am a, you know, kind, a helpful, and humble person. Person means shaks. Person. Person. Okay. That's it. So, Shabab, uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for uh, joining this session. I hope that uh, you learn uh, good things. And inshallah for the upcoming uh, what is it uh, uh, what is it um, uh, session I'm going to bring topics especially topics that you have it in the college in the foundation speaking foundation okay I'm going to choose those topics and we always try to talk about those topics so later on we only talk about we we, we change our strategies. Now I'm just teaching you, you know, some sentences, uh, some vocabularies, and uh, I'm trying to teach, him, to teach you some grammatical points. You need to be uh, familiar with these small, small things. Later on, uh, we, uh, we start, you know, learning, uh, our, learning new things based on topics, okay? For example, we choose a topic, and we only, only talk about topics and you learn uh, related vocabularies about that topic and of course later on we keep chatting we keep talking in the and we will have more practices inshallah so thank you very much for for uh, 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 your cooperation and i hope to see you in the next sessions study well and be a good human masalama and bye bye for now any question any questions? Oh, thank you. Shukran. Masalama and see you. Bye-bye.